Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Ben Holk and I'm a senior lecturer at UTS in the School of Mechanical and Mechatronic Engineering in the Faculty of Engineering and IT. Today I'm down at our experimental research facility UTS Tech Lab at Botany Campus in the Vibration Lab and I'm recording this video um, to show capstone students and junior researchers how we can undertake an experimental measurement campaign and collect data sets um, that they might wish to be able to process during the lockdown period in August 2021. If I just come around the other side of the camera, I'm going to show you our experimental arrangement, which begins with a Polytech PSV500 Extra scanning laser vibrometer. As you can see, there are two orthogonal mirrors inside of the instrument and a camera, which allows us to direct a laser beam towards a structure of interest. In this case, we've got a relatively simple cantilever beam clamped at the base on the bench here um, with a series of G-clamps and some heavy metal. Um, you can see that we have a green laser spot on the structure over here, which is actually coming about because there's a pilot laser inside the instrument. The actual measurement laser is 1540 nanometers and would otherwise or would therefore be invisible to the human eye. It's outside the visible spectrum but the pilot laser allows us to see where the measurement laser is pointing its own axis. As you can see, the beam has been marked up with a series of measurement points, these black um, locations. We've actually um, built a geometry within our acquisition system software. You can see that there's a camera in the instrument, which means we can get a video of the um, system, live video of the structure, and measurements, measurement points can be defined which through a 2D uh, alignment process correspond to um, the structure. So if I click within the software from point to point, you can see that on the tower itself the laser beam moves around point by point. These points are numbered one at the bottom through to 11 at the top of the structure the between points 1 and 10 the separation between the points is 67.5 millimeters the upper point is actually 10 millimeters lower than the end of the cantilever beam and is 57.5 meters millimeters from that uh, tenth point. So they're not all evenly distributed. The first ten are evenly distributed. The eleventh point is just has to be inside the tip of the beam. The tip of the beam would be 67.5 millimeters from this position, but actually we're making the measurement here in that top um, measurement case. You can see that we've got a shaker connected via a stinger arrangement to the structure and um, we're providing that with a signal from the laser vibrometer controller. It's got power and it's got a built-in amplifier here. Um, it's essentially like a, a speaker, a loudspeaker, but a very um, precise ele electrodynamic shaker. That's connected via this stinger, which has got some flexibility in here to allow for a small amount of misalignment through a force transducer over here. And the force transducer is uh, an IEPE, type of transducer and is connected over a cable into the controller of the laser vibrometer. You can see the IEPE light integrated electronics piezoelectric light is currently illuminated because this is providing power for the transducer for the signal conditioning which is within the um, transducer. There's a generator output here which is where this periodic chirp function is coming into the um, into the shaker where it is amplified and turned into essentially vibration which excites the structure. And if you listen you can hear the structure essentially rings at its resonant frequencies as they are swept through. So the, the sound which might not come across very well in the video, I don't know, uh, will increase as the, as the, uh, the various frequencies at which the structure would like to resonate. We can model this structure we have the overall length. We will provide the section geometry for the beam itself. And so we can do a finite element model of this structure. The 
measurement campaign is currently set up over here. We'll talk about that in a second video.